direction. There's something that's been bugging me for a while now. And it's kind of come to a head in the last few weeks. It's important that when you come out here to live this lifestyle, that you don't forget that ultimately this is still a job. There's still work to be done. There's still financial responsibility that has to take place. Melissa and I think we do a pretty darn good job of sharing with you what's work and what's play and how we balance that out and how we make sure, well, we try and make sure that you understand that coming out here is not all fun and games. Yes, I'm here in a beautiful forest in Alabama right now. It's gorgeous out here, but we know what our limits are and we recognize that we still have work to do. It's really important to understand that when you come out here, you're gonna go to work. You're gonna work a lot, long hours, 10, 11 hours behind the wheel, 12, 13 hour days, including loading and unloading. It's hard, it's rough, but you gotta make sure you're ready for that. It's not all fun and games. It's not all days at the lake. It's not all staying in campgrounds and living a leisurely life. You have a responsibility, if you're an owner-operator, to yourself, to the finance company that owns that truck. You have a responsibility to your fleet owner, if you drive for a fleet owner, because they're making that payment on that truck. If you can't make the payment on the truck with the work that you're doing, you're not going to be in that truck very long. You gotta know what you're getting yourself into. You gotta know the basics. How are you getting paid? Direct deposit, com data card, what's that look like? When do you get paid? Do you get paid weekly? Do you get paid monthly? How do you get your loads? We have seen a lot of comments and questions about how do get how do you get a load from people who have completed orientation and are in their truck. There are basic things that you gotta know before you come out here. We try and answer those questions on our videos, but it really seems like you're not paying attention to that part of the lifestyle. You're only paying attention to the fun stuff that we do. The trips to New Orleans for Mardi Gras, the trips to Tijuana to hang out for Halloween. You're not seeing the work, unfortunately. We can't show all the work that we do because some of our customers don't want their names out there. They don't want us filming at their location. Rest assured, 15,000 miles in a month is not easy. It takes a lot of work. And I'm gonna keep saying that word work. There's a lot of work out here. You gotta know what you're getting into before you come out here. You really do. Understand that this business is full of pitfalls. There is no perfect day. Flexibility is mandatory. Whether it's getting your truck and having to get repairs done immediately, which happens on brand new trucks. Melissa and I picked up our new truck, Nala, on a Wednesday. We didn't get our first load until a Monday because there were things that had to be addressed immediately on the truck. Now, fortunately, we have a fleet owner that understands that and went through the truck with the fine tooth comb and let us know what the issues were before we got rolling. Breakdowns happen in brand new trucks. Doser valve went out on Nala at 75,000 miles. These things happen. It's important to be flexible, you know? It's important to understand that these things happen. Um, you could be on that unicorn load and you have a breakdown and you lose that unicorn load because of that breakdown. Do you have the money in your pocket to weather three or four days down? As an independent contractor, that three or four days down is on you. So, you have to plan for that. Make hay while the sun is shining. It's a comment that I've heard from Frank many a time. Frank from the trucking couple. I believe he got it from 
Jeff Wilton over here on Highfield Panther side. But it's important that you have the financial wherewithal to come out here and not get a paycheck for a couple of weeks because it takes time to get paid. Be prepared for those things. Be flexible. When dispatch dispatches you on a load, it picks up at 1700 and you get there and the freight's not ready yet, you gotta sit for three hours, that stuff happens. You have to be ready for it. You have to be flexible. Ask yourself what it is you want when you come out here. And then talk to somebody that's out here and see if what you want is realistic. Share with them your expectations of life on the road. And again, find out if those expectations are realistic or not. If they're not, maybe it's not for you. If they are, we'd love to have you out here on the road. But you got to make sure you're being realistic. You got to make sure your expectations are set accordingly. And make sure that this lifestyle is for you. Lots of long hours on the road. Going to sleep in one state, waking up in another. If you're the night shift driver, <clears throat> you drive through a whole state and have no idea what it looks like because it was dark out. There's a lot going on out here and you'll miss a lot of things, especially at home. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to miss some of the things in life that a lot of folks aren't ready to miss? What if you can't get home for a graduation or births, birthdays? What's that look like to you? Think about it. Yeah, I hear you. You're asking yourself, you keep saying, do your research, do your homework. Where do I do my homework? Where do I do this research? Well, there's lots of places right here on YouTube. You can ask the Luke Shires. You know, you can say, hey, uh, Vincent, uh, Vince, uh, Chili, uh, Mr. Luke Shire, how do I do X, Y, and Z? What does X, Y, and Z look like? And we're happy to answer it for you. Lots of other YouTube channels, the Expediter Boogie, the Crafty Truckers, the Trucking Couple, just to name a few, that have been doing this for a lot longer than Melissa and I have. Facebook groups. Uh, there's one, Transportation Life, Wheels, Wings, and Rudders. Read the post. Ask folks questions there. Uh, don't do Facebook? Okay. Um, ExpedisOnline.com has great articles, great forms. You can read through there. You can ask folks questions there. Uh, lots of resources out there for you to do. Uh, even more groups on Facebook that are specific to the carrier you want to sign on with, whether it's Panther Premium Logistics or FedEx Custom Critical or Bolt Express or Tri Hours. There's a number of different companies or carriers out there that you can look up on Facebook and ask questions. Um, again, the Luke Shires. Say, hey, Mel, Melissa, MDAC. Maybe you don't say that. How do I make Melissa muffins? How do I use my convection oven? Ask those questions. There are lots of answers out there, and we're happy to help with that. So... If you think you can come out here and be flexible and work hard, the payoff is amazing. I mean, just look how beautiful it is out here on the uh, Alabama River that we're sitting on right now. It's gorgeous out here, but it takes hard work and a lot of effort and a lot of flexibility to be able to have time like this where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. Is it worth it? For Melissa and I, it's definitely worth it. We love this lifestyle. Is it for everybody? No. Is it for you? I don't know. All depends on your expectations and your needs and how much turmoil, challenge, what other words can we use? Hardships? That you are willing to accept in your life. If I haven't scared you away already, and you think the lifestyle might be for you, and you have questions, you want more information, well, hit us up. Info's below. Email, Facebook, Instagram. 
let us know. Leave comments in this video and let us know if you have questions or concerns. Um, tell the guy on the boat. No, we're making a video and he's being noisy. <laughs> how inappropriate his high speed pass is at this very time. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> questions, concerns, comments, hit us up, let us know. If you think this lifestyle is for you, same household teams, Class B license, hazmat, tanker endorsements, and a desire to get the job done by any means necessary, safely, legally, of course. But that desire to get the job done has got to be there. Have a great day. Thing everywhere.